Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, amazing Thursday. It is gorgeously sunny today, but it's supposed to be very dreary, dark, and rainy the next full week, let me tell ya. So we're taking it in. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite drugstore makeup. So it's not necessarily one product per, per, <laughs> per category. It's just more so that I was looking through my makeup drawers and I just started pulling things out to see what I really love, what I enjoy, and what I use super consistently. So I have a roundup of about 10 to 12 items here. These are items that I feel like are super tried and true to me. Some are newer, some are, are cult classics. Uh, some are hidden gems at the drugstore. And some of these I feel like are pretty popular but I, I wanted to give you guys my take on these and let you know that um i feel like anyone who would have i guess these specific products would really benefit um because they're amazing they're just solid solid stuff and of course i'm very into shopping at tj maxx and marshall's you guys know i love getting high-end makeup at a bargain of course but in those stores sometimes it is hard to look for a specific item if you're looking for let's say a specific lipstick or a liner or an eyeshadow palette it's more like hit and miss like if you don't go that specific week you're probably not gonna find it Till another year later or at that bargain or you know never again it's more like grab and go while you can but with these drugstore goods um they're so easily accessible and you can get them anytime anywhere to the most part so i have my little basket here every time i make like an intro i feel like i'm talking so much and it's kind of like we get it just kind of get to the point you know what i mean but then a lot of you guys like when i say these things are like talk and you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's get started. I will also have all of these items linked down below in the description box if you guys want to pick up anything for yourselves. So the first item that I wanted to speak to you guys about is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This has been like a love of mine for a pretty long time. It is a full coverage CC cream, but you can kind of build up so you can go light, you can go medium or full with this one. It has uh, SPF 30, which is great. It also has collagen. Uh, peptides and niacinamide which I believe is good for the skin I love the packaging really easy to use really easy to store really easy to travel with and it just has like a nice mush to it they have a bunch of shades to choose from and I really enjoy wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis but if I'm going somewhere like super special or nice like I'll also pull this out and I'm just very happy with how it looks I'm kind of impressed because I feel like with elf there are some like foundations I like but there really wasn't one that I'm like oh, you know what I mean this is one that I'm like oh, about it's really really good if you've never tried it I think it's a solid one from the drugstore especially like whoa also I will say if you have oily and or dry skin I think it could work out for both it doesn't necessarily dry me out I have dry skin um but I will still prep with this and it just looks even better like it looks good on its own but even better when I prep so it's a winner in my eyes for sure uh next I wanted to speak to you guys about the marshmallow primer by NYX so I recently picked this up in my Target shop with me video um I, they had this little size there they also have it in a bigger size but i wanted to give this one a go just because to see like what it's about and i actually really really like it i can kind of see what the hype is about it's such a nice um it almost feels cooling on the skin in a way it smells like laffy taffy to me it smells so good a little bit goes a long way i wouldn't say it's necessarily mattifying but it's also not glowy it's like perfectly in the middle there but also with this, I can kind of see it work out for a bunch of different skin types because of the really amazing consistency and um, formula that it has. It also fills in the pores somewhat pretty nicely. It does blur. The hype is real with that one, let me tell ya. Next, I wanted to speak to you guys about the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is one that I speak about all the time. I know it's going to kind of be like repetitive because like we get it, we know it. But in case there's anyone new here, this is the best drugstore mascara ever. $4.99 on Ulta's site. I know they sell this on Amazon as well. I was actually on the site the other day. And I think that this literally has over like 50,000 reviews pretty much at a five star. That means something. It has a natural bristled wand to it. And it's, I would say more on the longer side. It's not a wet, wet formula, but it's not dry either. Builds up beautifully. You can go light with this, but I like the fact that you can build up with it as well. It has the best of both worlds. Does not irritate my eye. And I find that it also just lasts the whole day. It looks good it looks so good every time i wear this it really does give you that like full slash effect and i've gone through at least eight of these in my lifetime i've recommended it to so many people and they're like how is this five dollars i'm like i'm asking the same thing honestly this is such solid stuff if you've never tried it if there's one thing you're gonna pick up 
pick that up so so good next i wanted to speak to you guys about these glosses here by maybelline so these are the lifter glosses i had the shade stone which is this nice nude one for a bit now and then in my target haul i recently picked up the shade ice which is more of like it looks pink but it's pretty much your claire gloss these are so luxurious on they feel very high end and like when I, I don't know, when I put it on, I just kind of feel like that I just purchased this from Sephora. So Maybelline did an absolutely amazing job with these. Also with the packaging, so beautiful. It feels nice. It feels sturdy. It feels somewhat pretty weighted. And like seriously, if it wouldn't say Maybelline on this and I would close my eyes and I'd put it on, I think it's like Fenty or something because it's such solid stuff. Uh, these glosses have like, I wouldn't say a super thin feel to them. They have more of like a medium feel to them. Not so thick, but you can kind of feel it on your lips. It's very comfortable though. It's not sticky at all. Uh, they have a bunch of shades to choose from. So they have some that are more tinted. And then like I mentioned, this more like a clearer one. I love wearing these on their own because they just look so luscious on. But they're also so nice to wear on top of lipsticks, lip liners. I eventually would love to collect the whole line because this is a vibe for sure. I love the NYX glosses and those will always be amongst my favorites but i haven't found a drugstore gloss that i was fully head over heels with i have to say these they have it down with next i wanted to speak to you guys about this milani blush here this actually was a recommendation from my friend leah and this is in the shade coral crush it's the milani cheek kiss blushes she actually has oily skin and she's obsessed with this i have dry skin and i'm obsessed with this so honestly i feel like this could really work out for anyone and everyone it's actually the blush that i have on my cheeks today so if you like what you're seeing this is what i have on really pretty to wear on like bare skin beautiful to wear on like a tinted moisturizer and even nice to wear on foundation so what i did today was i put foundation i even set my face with a powder then i went in with this and i love i just love how it looks it's vibrant it's beautiful it doesn't emphasize it's not necessarily glowy but it's not necessarily matte it lasts the whole day and i mean i talk about cream blushes often here and there and i've tried a decent amount from the drugstore hands down this is the best one i've tried from the drugstore thus far let me tell you it's solid solid stuff it also comes with a ton the packaging also is so cute and just nice you know and i want to pick up the other shades that they have but this one right here has been serving me beautifully lately and i'm just in love next up we have this right here by nyx this is the brow glue this is the best drugstore brow setter i've ever tried they only have it in the shade claire i would have loved if they would have came out with tinted ones in this formula that would be like the ultimate best thing ever which i could probably see them doing just because this is doing so well for them so this is just a small little guy but it is considered to be the full size but the brush is just perfect it's not too thin it's not too uh, fluffy it's not too tall it's not too short and the formula is amazing because it literally just holds your brows in place and it doesn't necessarily make it like hard or crunchy but it just it's there for the day you know like there's no ifs and buts i love to wear this on natural days when i'm not doing the whole thing with my brows but i also love wearing this when you know i did fill in my brows and i have a defined look going for me this is perfect so seriously the best of both worlds it's amazing next i wanted to speak about this bronze here by elf cosmetics this is an item that i've spoken about so many times here on my channel but i figured i would mention it just because i feel like if you do have it in your collection you just it's such an essential for me you know so this is in the shade forever sun kiss i think that they have three or four other shades to choose from this is my favorite drugstore bronzer ever i've tried the physician's formula and that one's really good i don't love the packaging because it's so bulky and big this is nice simple sleek it almost has like a high-end feel to it the powder is beautiful it's not too warm but it's also not too cool i'll usually just go in with this and I, I i always love how like my bronzer looks you can go lighter with it or you can build build up and but it always looks very nice and chiseled and defined you know how i always say like just it's very high end feeling it truly is they really have it down with the formula of this one so i had to recommend it. you guys saw how hard that literally flew on the floor and it's still perfectly intact this thing is perfect i tell you next i wanted to speak to you guys about these lip liners from koki cosmetics you could find these at Rite Aid. i want to say exclusively i think that they're 4.99 each so really affordable lip liners i used to never be that lip liner girl but like for a while now i i am and i feel like it does really add something extra you know you can kind of you could <laughs> you can kind of line out your lips 
fill it in with a different lipstick color maybe like a lighter or deeper shade so there's more dimension go in with like a gloss or something or just use this to line out your lips and then fill them in it's just really easy to use and maneuver they have i think 12 shades in the line these are amongst my favorites i love nudes and i love pinks i like that these are retractable so it makes it so easy to use and the outside the color of the like lip liner is the color of the wait okay so the color the outside color of the lip liner is the color of the actual lip liner so you don't have to open every single one up to see like hey what color do i want to wear today i just feel like it's so like perfect packaging pretty much these i would say are not drawing at all but they're not overly creamy wherever you put it it stays and it lasts they also do not bleed out of your lip line. I just think that these are probably, yeah, the best drugstore lip liners I've ever tried. I just feel like no one speaks about these and they're so, they're just so good. Koki lip liners, absolute 10 out of 10. And again, they have a bunch of shades to choose from. So highly recommend these for sure. Then I wanted to speak to you guys about just some drugstore little palettes. I do want to uh, share with you guys my favorite drugstore palettes in general, but these have been like amongst my favorites thus far and i feel like they're definitely worth it so firstly i have the essence daily dose of energy palette here this is actually what i have on my eyes today i don't know if you could tell it's drugstore palette but this is what is on essence recently released this and i've been testing it out they also have two or three other color stories to choose from packaging is cardboard so nothing too spectacular with that there are matte and metallics in here and i feel like you can get a really really nice or a bunch of really nice looks with this one. Of course, factoring in the price, I think they did amazing with this one. It has a lot of versatility. The shadows are not like mushy, deliciousness, Natasha Denona vibes at all. But again, factoring in the price, I think that they did really, really well with this. And I feel like you could do a lot um, considering the fact that it's so affordable and there's a lot of options to work with here. I would say the mattes build up really, really nicely. Um, they're a little bit more on the drier side, but you can get a good blend with it, a good build with it. So I do like those. And the metallics, I would say, are more, not necessarily sheer, but they're not as boom. You could also build up with them, but it's not too much too fast. So maybe that could be a good thing. You know, for me, I'm just always like, just give it, give it all to me and I'll figure it out. I'm not the type to build. I'm just like, you know what I mean? So yeah, but for the drugstore, amazing palette. I've been really enjoying this. And again, they have two or three other ones to choose from if this is not your color story. Um, they did amazing with this. Usually their palettes are not like the bestest, but I think they're doing, they're, they're starting to do much better. I've also been loving, like loving these Makeup Revolution Ultimate Nudes palette. I was shocked to my very core when I realized how amazing these were. These are $9 on Ulta site. I will say I've tried a bunch of other Makeup Revolution palettes and and I'll be honest, these sucked. They were so bad, very annoying to work with, very flaky, very PC, not fun. And I'm always hesitant to purchase more palettes than them because I'm kind of like, I'm not wanting to go through the same route over and over again. But these looked really good. So I'm like, okay, it's $9, it's new. Love the color story, obsessed. We'll see, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll see. So I first picked up the Ultimate Nudes Light Palette and this blew my socks off my feet. It just performs so nicely. You can get such beautiful looks with this one and it just makes me so happy. Like, I love this palette and I'm shocked and surprised that it's so amazing because who would have thought? We get four metallics and then five mattes. You can get a great build with these. Metallics are a little bit more on the thicker side, but they, they work well. Like, you could thin it out and a drugstore palette i'm just wow and then i so i love that one so much so then i picked up the medium nudes pal palette <laughs> medium nudes palette they also have a deep one i want to say um but that one i felt like was really really dark like a really dark tone so but i still might end up getting it for those times that i want to wear those kind of looks why am i having a hard time talking i'm just trying to say that all these products are amazing that's pretty much my point but yeah, so then I purchased this one, the medium version, also really pretty. This this one right here doesn't have much diversity just because a lot of these are somewhat similar. I would say the light one, like since we get like the purpley tones in here and more pinkier nude shades, you can do more with that. But this one also is very nice. They also work really well hand in hand together. And for $9, like the Huda Beauty Nine Pan palettes, some of them are like, some of them go are good. Some of them are not good. Like the first few she released suck. And then as she keeps releasing more and more, they get better. Like the browns palettes were pretty good. The nude line from her is amazing. But the ruby obsession, the green obsession, amethyst obsession, those are not like, these are definitely better than those for sure. 
Um, next, I wanted to speak to you guys about these right here from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are blushes that I speak about constantly, but they're amongst my favorites. And I feel like if you have this in your collection, yeah, I, think you, I think you'd just be really happy, you know? I mean, it makes me happy. So I have three shades. This right here is Always Rosy. It's a beautiful rose tone color. For some reason, these remind me of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. They're so long wearing, um, easy to build up. They're a matte finish, but they don't look like flat on the face and it just looks rosy. It looks beautiful on. So this is rosy. And then, I love that name. It's so cute. And then this right here is in the shade Always Cheeky. And this is more of like your nude apricot kind of color. So I would say this would be best for those who have a fair to light skin tone, but also very nice if you're going for a no blush blush look. This is nice. And then I have the uh, Always Punchy. Always Punchy is my favorite. This is just... Uh, just a gorgeous fruit punch color like a pinky like summery like blush blush <laughs> this is where it's at that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been it's, been, it's a, little, a little bit of a long one but um i want to go get some coffee i'm so hope on thursday um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your absolute favorite drugstore makeup is i would love to know i'm always on the lookout for like the next best or like even like older products that are just solid that you've never heard me talk about like let me know what you love <laughs> because i need to know i would love to know and yes i'm looking forward to reading your comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye